Okay, so after installing a Qmotion shade, fully installed, fully closed, we're going to identify it into the Control 4 network. So, you will add it to the project by going into the room that you desire and adding the blind. And the blind is actually found under System Design. Just type in Q Advanced, and you'll get the Qmotion driver here for Qmotion blinds. Add the roller shade into the project, and it will show up as a standard shade. So we're going to identify the bottom shade. So we'll go to System or Connections, we'll go to Network up here, then we'll go to Zigbee, and then we're going to do the bottom shade. So what we'll do is we'll tap Bottom Shade, and it'll bring up the identification. And it's basically telling you what to do verbatim. Pull down about six inches. All right, so what we do, grab the shade, Pull down about six inches. It'll start wiggling. And once it's identified, it will go up. And it will state that it's found the code. It's all right. So now that that's done, we close out of that. And you'll go back to connect AV and we will go to the project itself, the actual shade, it's the bottom shade here. Here we go under actions, and we're going to press learn lower limit. So we push learn lower limit, and it will come down about a few inches and go up. So basically it's just letting you know, hey, I acknowledge that you want to do this, so let's put it into depth mode. So pull down a few inches, and it will jog at you. And then you pull all the way down to your lower limit stop, like so, come back and push this button a second time. Once pushing it, it will jog up and down and your shade has been fully limited for its maximum. And you're all set up.